more, we're joined by Matthew Delek in Washington, D.C. He's an assistant professor of political management at George Washington University. Thank you so much for your time, Matthew. Now, one week after Donald Trump became the presumptive nominee, his party is split as to whether to throw their support behind him. Tell us more about the discord among top Republicans. Well, uh, look, it depends on the Republican. Uh, there are social conservatives who think that Trump is uh, a moral cretin, uh, who has not uh, lived the kind of uh, life and, and supports the kind of policies that, uh, that they subscribe to. Uh, there are other fiscal conservatives who see Trump as, as uh, wishy-washy and all over the place on economic policy. There are those Republicans who are simply uh, and understandably offended by Trump's uh, uh, racist comments, his bigotry, uh, his anti-Muslim uh, statements, his comments among wi about women, uh, and think that, that he is a disaster as a face of the Republican Party. Uh, and then there are those who just don't want to be associated with, with what they fear will be a, a rapidly sinking ship. And so there are many forces hostile uh, uh, to Trump um, and even those endorsing him or supporting him are not necessarily uh, doing so wholeheartedly. And, I mean, you said for the primaries, Trump has really relied on his own fortunes to get in there. I mean, he'll need a whole lot more than that for the fall campaign. How is Trump planning to finance his campaign for the presidency? That's a great question. Uh, he has not even spent all that much of his own money. He says he doesn't want to spend uh, much, if any, of his own fortune. So now he's looking for the Republican Party, which he excoriated for months uh, on end, and to Republican donors. What he's going to try to do is to appropriate and, and take over, essentially, the Republican Party's financial operation and raise money through, apparently, traditional sources. Uh, and uh, he will have certainly some people, uh, big donors and small do donors alike, who come uh, over to him. But, but put it this way, he says he wants to raise uh, between $1 billion and $1.5 billion over the next six months, five or six months. That is obviously a huge uh, amount of money, and it's really an open question whether he can raise it. I also don't know that he actually needs to raise all that money, given his ability to use uh, free media, to, to uh, use Twitter to, to do the interviews. They get him so much media time. Uh, uh, but he says he wants to raise that amount of money. It's going to be extremely uh, hard to do, uh, given that he has almost zero uh, fundraising apparatus. Right. I mean, I guess as well, given the fact that uh, the, um, the Republican Party is so split, it might be difficult for him as well. Now, is there any indication of who he might choose as a running mate in terms of a VP? And perhaps while you're at it, you can tell us perhaps about Hillary's potential VP too. Mm -hmm. Well, look, uh, Again, as with everything around Donald Trump, who he's going to select as his VP is a, a great uh, open question, uh, partly because many of the names who have been floated, many of the most prominent people in the Republican Party, have said uh, basically they don't want to be considered. So Rob Portman uh, from Ohio, Marco Rubio, uh, it's hard to see Ted Cruz ever uh, wanting to, to be his running mate. Uh, Nikki Haley has uh, thrown cold water on the idea. There are a lot of very prominent Republicans who, uh, if you read the tea leaves, say, you know, they don't want to be associated uh, with Trump in, in such a prominent uh, way. Um, so it's very hard to know. Obviously, somebody like a Chris Christie, uh, it would be a, a sort of logical or obvious choice, but I'm not sure that that, that helps them all that much. So um, uh, we'll have to see. There's a governor of Oklahoma. Uh, a woman, uh, she may be open to uh, to doing it with Trump, um, but it just it's really um, it's just the field is incredibly scattered. On the Democratic side, uh, Hillary Clinton uh, has, I think, a, a, a much easier path, at least in terms of picking a nominee. Um, there's a lot of buzz about Tim Kaine, who is a senator uh, from Vir Virginia, uh, fairly moderate. Uh, well liked by different factions within the Democratic Party. There's been talk of Elizabeth Warren, although that seems unlikely for various uh, reasons. Uh, uh, Castro, the Secretary of uh, Housing and, and Urban Development, uh, a rising star from Texas, uh, and a Latino uh, is another option. But uh, Hillary Clinton will have a number, I think, of, of good choices. And 
you know, I think anybody she asks uh, uh, of note will be likely to say yes. Okay, looks like we'll find out fairly shortly. Thank you, Matthew, very much for your contributions. Matthew Dalek in Washington there.